What you are looking at is a living, breathing, swallowing, premature baby lamb inside a bag filled with fluid. It's called an artificial womb and is meant to mimic the real thing, a mother's uterus. Canadian researcher Dr. Emily Partridge helped create the so-called biobag with a team of scientists in Philadelphia. The tests are on lambs, but the goal is meant to eventually help human babies. Right now, uh, what happens if you're born at 23 weeks, um, the, the analogy that we use is you're sort of like a fish on dry land. You're really not ready to be out of a fluid environment, and we sort of have to do our best to try to compensate for those physiologic insults. About half of premature babies, those born at 23 weeks, don't survive. And those who do survive, the majority, suffer lifelong illnesses and serious disabilities. Many with underdeveloped lungs need to be placed on ventilators attached to incubators. The artificial womb is meant to provide a safer environment by trying to bridge the gap for the babies who are born too early. This is a much more protective and really a much more physiologic environment for the fetus. This is really how they were meant to reside. In this research, the lambs tested were equivalent in age to a 23-week human fetus. They were taken from their mothers via C-sections and placed in transparent bags filled with a liquid substitute for amniotic fluid. The lamb's umbilical cord is attached to a machine that doubles as a placenta, which exchanges carbon dioxide in the blood with oxygen. No ventilator is needed since the lamb's heart does all the pumping. Researchers say some of the lambs remained healthy in their liquid bag for over a four-week period, breathing normally, opening their eyes. Some even grew wool. The lambs were later euthanized so they could be studied. We've been pretty astounded at how normally the lungs have grown and matured. Over four weeks in the artificial womb, we're turning out lambs that essentially look indistinguishable from lambs that have been born uh, normally. But let's be cautious, says this Toronto neonatal doctor. It's a very innovative idea, and I think it has merit to be tested, but uh, we need to go step by step into the human experimentation. Researchers hope to begin clinical trials on human babies in the next three to five years. Then down the road, neonatal units could come equipped with these incubators of the future. Not much different than what's there now, say researchers, except a baby will be placed inside a bio bag. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.